Hello and hi students, welcome to Sarsa classes. This is Dr. Rudh Sakar over here and we will be discussing another oxidation reaction today which is called the Maraprid reaction. What it is basically, suppose you have been given a cis diol and you are treating this with peridic acid which is HiO4 or NaIO4, okay, in aqueous medium. So now depending on what R1, R2, R3, R4, as you can see it can be H alkyl or allyl for all the R1, R2, R3, R4, your products will be decided over here. So if you have one alkyl and H, one alkyl and H over here, your products will be both aldehydes. If you have both alkyl alkyl and alkyl and H, your product over here is going to be a ketone and an aldehyde. If you have alkyl alkyl, alkyl alkyl, then your products over here is going to be obviously all ketones. So now, what it is basically, it is an oxidation of adjacent diodes with peridic acid or its salt in aqueous solution, generally known as malaprid reaction. The reaction has been extended to the cleavage of also alpha hydroxycarbonyls, 1 2 dicarbonyls, alpha amino alcohols, alpha amino acids, or polyhydroxy alcohols, which are basically your carbohydrates also. In this oxidation, the hydroxyl group is oxidized to an aldehyde or a ketone. The carbonyl group is oxidized to a carboxyl, very important point, and the amino group is converted to an aldehyde because it will lead to the formation of an amine and then the amine will undergo hydrolysis to give the aldehyde or a substituted amine in case of a secondary amine. In case of adjacent polyhydroxyl alcohol, the reaction occurs at the terminal hydroxyl group and the middle hydroxyl group is converted to formic acid. So we will see these examples. What is the mechanism out here? Okay, so you have the diol and then it forms the ester of the paridic acid as we can see this is the ester of the paridic acid and then as you can see the bond will break from here and leads to the formation of a double bond this cc bond is cleaving so this is basically oxidative cleavage of we will say diols okay and that is how we will say it leads to the release of h3io4 and the oxidants or oxidized products are formed over here that is the ketone or aldehyde depending on the starting 1 comma 2 diol let's see some examples over here we have been given a cis diol where we have r and h r and h and obviously our products over here are going to be two aldehyde molecules we have been given a diol in which we can see there is alkyl alkyl and alkyl and h so one will be this side will be your ketone as you can see and this side over here will be your aldehyde as you can see now some multi-step reaction we have been given one alkene and we are going to do uh, use cold k force it will lead to the formation of a cis diol and if you are using then hio4 obviously this one comma two diol will undergo oxidative cleavage over this bond okay this will lead to the formation of formaldehyde and the rest of the molecule will lead to the formation of a cyclobutanone next one as we can see we have been given one comma two dione and we have discussed in the previous page that whenever we have been will be given the one comma two dions then it will be converted to the corresponding carboxylate or carboxylic acid few more problems we have been given one alpha hydroxy ketone so this unit will become carboxylic acid and that will go to formaldehyde uh, it will go to the aldehyde as we can see now over here we have been given a triol okay so this will be converted to as you can see rnh so it will become aldehyde rnh so it will become aldehyde this unit will undergo twice oxidation to lead to the formation of c double bond o initially and then that will be further oxidized in the second step to give you the formic acid over here Again, let's see this one. So over here, oxidation will take place on this molecule. So it will be formaldehyde. Okay. And 
out here this will be converted to the carboxylic acid okay so there is no discussion or we have not mentioned anything regarding the alpha hydroxy carboxylic acids undergoing oxidation because this carboxylic acid cannot undergo any further oxidation using this reagent okay so nothing will happen to the cleavage of this particular bond okay so this unit will remain as it is next we have been given this molecule and as we can see here we have a cis diol so over here again oxidation will take place okay so that is all about the discussion of malaprid reaction keep visiting sorbs or classes and have a nice day